Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to set up form branching in Survey.js. Survey.js is an open source self-hosted form builder that can be easily integrated in your JavaScript application. On our website, we have its free full featured demo that I will be using today to build a form with branching logic. Let's get started. So branching logic, also known as branch logic or form branching, uh, refers to the practice of designing forms that allow you to direct respondents along different conditional paths based on their responses to preceding questions. With branching logic in place, uh, your form can automatically skip relevant questions, hide or show certain sections in a form, or even prompt the respondents to the survey completion page. This dynamic approach enables forms to adapt to individual user input and ensures that respondents are only presented with the most relevant information. So let's start with uh, configuring a skip logic in a form. Um, and uh, to guide a respondent to a specific question down the line, um, we would need to implement uh, an expression-based event called a trigger. And when an expression, um, a trigger is based on a value to true, then uh, the trigger initiates uh, an action and takes a respondent to uh, a target question. So to set up um, a, a conditional rule that will direct a respondent to a specific question in a form, we first need to uh, switch to the survey level settings. So here in the top right corner, we need to select survey. And then under logic, we need to locate subsection called triggers. And um, in the drop down menu, uh, we're going to choose skip to question. And now uh, to build an expression, we need to know um, IDs um, of a target question and uh, sorry of a trigger question and of a dependent question. So uh, in my form here, I have a, uh, a question: Would you like to provide uh, your contact information? And the ID, um, we can check it and you can um, update it because uh, every element you add to a form is automatically assigned uh, um, an ID. Um, here in the name property. This ID is not visible to respondent and to respondents and it's used in different form configurations, including um, uh, branching logic. So the ID of my trigger question is a provide emergency contact. And then I have um, a dependent question, uh, which is a panel actually. Um, it's, a, it's a group of um, questions um, that can be managed together. So this is, a dependent question, we're going to either skip it or not, depending on what respondent says here. And our destination question is, where would you like uh, us to send the, uh, the order receipt? So the destination question ID is order receipt, and the trigger question ID is uh, provide emergency contact. So now let's go back to um, our server level settings. And under logic, we go back to our triggers, and then we're going to use this um, um, pan icon to expand the settings of our trigger and uh, then I'm going to click this magic wand to um, a prompt a pop-up with graphical user interface uh, where we uh, will build our expression. So if uh, a respondent, so um, the trigger question ID is provide emergency contact, so if a respondent uh, says no, so if a question with this ID equals to no, this is our expression, then now we're going to click apply. Then uh, question uh, to skip to is order receipt. So if a person says um, no here, then this panel uh, with uh, emergency contact information will be skipped and uh, a respondent uh, will be prompted uh, to the question, where would you like us to send uh, the order receipt? So now let's go to the preview tab and um, let's locate our question. So here it is. So would you like us to, uh, would you like to provide emergency contact? And we say no. And we are prompted to the question, where would you like us to send the order receipt? So the form skips the entire section here. Uh, so another way to configure uh, branching logic in your form is to hide or share certain questions depending on user responses. So uh, in my form here, I have two, question, uh, two questions. Uh, one uh, asks uh, respondents about their nationality, and another one asks them uh, to provide their social security number. And for example, I want users to, uh, only users who uh, 
selects the United States as their nationality to see social security number in question. So for this, uh, I need to again check the uh, IDs of both questions. So the first question is uh, nationality. So its ID is nationality and the ID of social security number uh, question is SSN. So uh, to uh, um, uh, configure display logic on this question, I need to select it. And under its logic settings, we need to locate the visible if property. And we're going to use the graphic user interface again to um, uh, configure uh, the expression, uh, which would define the visibility of this question. So here we say that if nationality uh, equals uh, United States, then this question uh, is visible. Now let's go to preview and then we select uh, United States and voila, our secure social number question is visible. So the third type uh, or the third way of uh, configuring uh, branching logic in your form is, um, for example, if you have uh, a question with uh, a few follow-up questions and those follow-up questions are only relevant if, re if respondents uh, replies in a certain way. For example, if they say, oh, I have experience in driving, and then you can ask them some follow-up question about the how many years of driving experience they have, etc. But if they say no, then all for the questions are not relevant to them, and you want to um, prompt them to the survey completion page. So for this, uh, we're going to we're going to use a different type of trigger. Um, the same way we use the skip to question trigger, we're going to create a new trigger uh, that that is called a complete survey. So to create this trigger, we need to uh, switch to the survey level settings and. Um, to better understand how this trigger works, I'm going to um, uh, go to the navigation section and um, I need to change the display mode of my form from original structure to each question on an individual page. Um, you'll see why. Um, so under logic, I'm going to create a new trigger um, and the type of a trigger is uh, complete survey and then I'm going to use uh, I'm, I'm going to use the magic one to create an expression so for example if a person says that their nationality is United uh, that if their nationality equals United States and I say okay all for the questions are not relevant to you and I'm going to complete I'm going to let you complete the survey so let's say if again nationality equals United States then um, we will complete the survey. So let's go to the preview tab. And as you can see, each question, so it's a, it's basically a card mode. So each question is on the individual page. And then we're going to select national United States. So you can see that the button um, that can, that I used previously to navigate to the next question is not available anymore. So um, if a person selects United States, they can't really proceed to any further questions. And the only option they have is to submit. So if I say, if I say that, for example, the nationality is France, then I can select date of birth, etc. So SurveyJS Form Builder uh, also has a dedicated logic tab here. And as you can see, um, the conditional rules that I created, they're all displayed here, and we can um, use this um, expand icon to, uh, for example, edit them, or we can remove them using this bin icon here. And so they're all aggregated in one place. So you don't have to navigate to individual questions to if you need to change something, which is very convenient. And again, using graphical user interface um, allows people with um, any technical expertise to build expressions, which is very convenient. Yeah, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe to our channel and um, try out um, the free full feature demo of uh, form of SurveyJS Form Builder. Uh, it's available on our website at surveyjs.io and it's completely free and we don't even require registration uh, for you to get started. Goodbye.